Hey everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle functions videos. Last week we went over the serratus posterior inferior, so this week I chose to go over the serratus posterior superior. I will go over the location, which includes the origin and insertion, follow that with functions, and then finally an exercise that you guys can use or if you choose to. Uh, so let's get started with the location of it and then we'll move on from there. So the origin of the serratus posterior superior starts on the ligamentum nuci and on the spinous processes of C7 through T2. There are some sources that say uh, T3 as well. So just kind of keep that in mind that it may even reach down to T3 on that spinous process. So this muscle then inserts onto the superior borders of ribs two through five. Okay, so pretty much we're looking around about right in between the shoulder blades. Now due to this muscle being so deep, uh, it lies beneath the trapezius and the rhomboids. So I won't be able to show you what the muscle looks like underneath the skin. I'll only be able to pinpoint roundabouts where the origin and insertion is. So now this muscle, since it does uh, originate up higher on the spine and then insert lower, it does have kind of like a arrowhead look to it, okay? It's pointed like an arrow, okay? So whenever I pinpoint the origin and insertion now, please try to picture the arrow shaped. That's kind of like what it looks like, okay? So we're looking around the ligamentum nuci, which is a very thin uh, ligament that runs from the occipital uh, bone right at the back of the head and then on down. So we're looking at right at the C7 vertebra for the ligamentum nuci, okay? And then the spinous processes of C7 through T2 uh, some sources say T3 as well. So we're looking at C7 through T2 and that's right about in here. Okay, right where your neck meets the shoulders and then is your back is pretty much where the C7 down through T2 is. Um, the T2 does run down onto your back, okay? So we're looking at the spinous processes. So pretty much you have two sections of this muscle. You have one on the left and one on the right. Uh, so again, right down through here would be the origin of it. Okay. And then inserts, uh, if you look on anatomy books, it looks like it almost connects pretty much right to the scapula, the medial border of the scapula. However, it doesn't connect to that. It connects to the superior borders of ribs two through five. So it stretches clean out to right about in here, okay? So now that we know the location and roundabouts where it is on our body, we can now apply functions to it. So the main function of the serratus posterior superior is to bring the rib cage up as you inhale, okay? So as you inhale, you kind of feel that rib cage come up that's what the serratus posterior superior is doing. Also, the other functions of this muscle is to stabilize the vertebra and as well the thorax, okay? So we're looking at pretty much stabilization and raising the rib cage. So, which brings us to an exercise. Now, this is, like last week, this isn't a muscle that you'd go into the gym and work. It's a muscle that you might use it during yoga practices or meditation practices. If you breathe in real slow and real deep, you could work that muscle a little bit more. Um, as far as stabilization practices go, uh, obviously you could do more core work, okay? So that would include that muscle as well. Um, but the main function of that muscle is to bring the rib cage up as you inhale. Okay, so, and I hope everybody uh, understood, and I hope everybody had learned something or has learned something uh, from this video. I know it's kind of short, but uh, it's a, kind of a simple muscle, but 
we'll get into some good stuff here next week, I believe. So, if you have anything additional that you'd like to add, any further information that you guys would like to share, if you have any further knowledge of it, please feel free to add it on. If not, that's fine. Please hit the like button and share it with other people. A verbal share is just as good as any other share. So, I hope everybody has an awesome week coming, and I hope everybody has a great training week too. So, I hope to see everybody next week. So, have a great week guys. Thanks for watching.